After a landslide victory, Donald Trump is putting together his incoming administration. But his choices range from predictable to unconventional to downright controversial. Trump is sending a clear message. He intends to shake up the establishment when he returns to power in January 2025. The one name that many are questioning is Matt Gates. The Florida Republican is Trump's pick for Attorney General. He will be leading the Justice Department, which once investigated him over allegations of sex trafficking a 17-year-old girl. But ultimately, the DOJ decided not to pursue criminal charges against Gates. A House Ethics Committee was probing allegations that Gates engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, accepted improper gifts, dispensed special privileges and favours to individuals with whom he had a personal relationship and sought to obstruct government investigations of his conduct. The committee was due to meet this week to vote on releasing a report but with Gates resigning from Congress after being tapped by Trump, it's unclear if the report will ever become public. Gates has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing, including ever having sex with a minor or paying for sex. But why does Trump want him on his team? Gates is known for his scorched earth tactics in the House and was instrumental in ousting then House Speaker Kevin McCarthy last year for negotiating with Democrats. Trump has been wanting to make drastic changes to the Department of Justice, which he still blames for the investigation into Russian election meddling in the 2016 election. The other controversial pick is Tulsi Gabbard, the one-time Democratic presidential candidate who now shares Trump's belief that the intelligence community has been weaponized against him, will be America's new top spy if confirmed. She has been chosen by Trump to be the Director of National Intelligence. Gabbard may face opposition from a number of former high-ranking national security and intelligence officials. She has floated numerous conspiracy theories that defy the conclusions reached by the US intelligence agencies that she would oversee. Gabbard has made a slew of pro-Russia comments that have prompted criticism on both sides of the aisle. She accused Ukraine of creating biological weapons, which was essentially a narrative pushed in Russian media. She also blamed the Biden administration for failing to acknowledge what she said were Russia's legitimate security concerns regarding Ukraine's becoming a member of NATO, as Kiev was being invaded in 2022. Gabbard has a distinguished military record, but she appears to have been tapped by Trump as he seeks to clean out what he calls corrupt actors that he views as disloyal. Trump stunned the Pentagon and the broader defense world by nominating Fox News host Pete Hegseth to serve as his defense secretary. While Hegseth has a military record that includes serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, he has little of the deep experience in high-level strategy, intelligence diplomacy and national security that is normally required of those in charge of the world's most powerful military. But the 44-year-old is a staunch conservative who embraces Trump's America First policies and has pushed for making the military more lethal. Hexet's choice could bring in sweeping changes to the military. He has made it clear on his show and in interviews that, like Trump, he is opposed to woke programs that promote equality and inclusion. He also questioned the role of women in combat and advocated for pardoning service members charged with war crimes. Apart from their penchant for controversy, Gates, Gabbard and Hexeth have one thing in common. They are unfailingly loyal to the president-elect. And that is exactly what Trump is doing with his new team. He is filling it with MAGA loyalists and rewriting some of the rules in Washington. He's seizing more power for the president to get around Congress and to mould the federal bureaucracy.